Okay, so there's a lot of people out there who think they've got the zoology tier list down. Think they know which build types are best, and which ones aren't worth the time. Well, I'm here to tell you how wrong you are. There are a lot of hidden high tiers, and even top tiers, found in some unlikely places. In this video, I'll talk about one of them. Before I get into it, let me give some quick background on one aspect of the meta. So in the current meta, it's a pretty commonly held belief that of all the builds possessing the brain attribute, amphibians rank the lowest, sitting comfortably in F tier. And this is not all that unwarranted. Amphibians are extremely sensitive to shifts in the overworld. Even the most minute tweaks, such as a change in acidity or water temperature, can drastically reduce their viability. And speaking of water, even though they don't have gills, many amphibians are almost totally bound to bodies of water and die if they're away from moisture for any extended period of time. And although amphibians do possess some rare high tier traits like cling pads, saltatorial legs, and webbed feet, this doesn't make up for the downsides like extreme vulnerability to the elements, some of the lowest defensive base stats possible, lack of mobility, lack of strength, and an exceptionally weak start. With that said, there is one amphibian who defies all norms and is undoubtedly near the top of the tier list. And note, before you click away, this is not another video trying to argue that the poison dart frog is top tier. Look, you guys put way too many evolution points into toxins and aesthetics. Yes, you've got the poison with the highest DPS possible, as well as very unique coloration. But you should have stopped specking those after you notice the diminishing returns. If you'd done that, you'd be truly high tier like the subject of this video, the Cane Toad. The Cane Toad is the highest ranking amphibian for the following reasons. Number one, all of the main negatives of this class are kept to a minimum. A respectable amount of evolution points allocated to thicker, leathery skin boosts both physical defense and resistance to the elements, and when combined with a larger size, most lightweight and mobility-based builds simply cannot take it down. Now obviously larger size is seen as a risk in the meta due to a higher food cost, but the Cane Toad build allocates a huge amount of points into hunting and digestion, with a specialty in gobbling. Seriously, the mouth of a Cane Toad is essentially a trash compactor. In addition, an extremely fast growth rate keeps the starting stage vulnerability to a minimum. Finally, the Cane Toad avoids making the same mistake as the Poison Dart Frog. Investing only a moderate amount of evolution points into toxins grants the cane toad a toxin strong enough to kill a cat and make a dog sick. Although it's nowhere near the elephant herd slaying potential of the poison dart frog, it pretty much gets the job done just as well. And by spending nearly zero points in aesthetics, the cane toad has saved enough to adapt to almost any environment. In fact, they're so dominant in the Australian server that they've caused many low tiers to quit entirely. So there you have it. Amphibians aren't all bottom tier. If you have a build that you'd like a biologist's take on, let me know in the comments. Thanks.